You never know where miracles will happen. But inside this house in tiny Freelton, Ontario, we're told there's a miracle at work. This cluttered room is a shrine to an active mind, home to an avid inventor, a prolific collector, and a true believer. Royce Hamer is a believer in something called Miracle Mineral Solution, or MMS. I'm just going to do one drop. So this is a sodium chloride. They use it in, in sanitation plants. So you'll smell that chlorine smell. Oh yeah, that's yep. chlorine. Now, that smells like a pool. Then you add some clean water. So there's a, a one hour dose. He believes this so chemical concoction, which is essentially activated. bleach, diluted with some water, taken in daily doses, creates a miracle cure. HIV, AIDS, 21 days. We have cleared people up in, in, the, in Africa. When that Ebola was raging through Africa a year ago, uh, we actually had to sneak it in, and we we're clearing up Ebola with it. Okay, herpes uh, is definitely a three-month run. Um, hepatitis is three months. We've cleared up people with Parkinson's, ALS. Royce is part of a global movement that believes in the miraculous healing powers of MMS. Meet the man behind the miracle, Jim Humble. More than 150 countries use MMS. Humble by name, but not by nature. He claims MMS is the cure to 95% of all that ails us. He talks about his discovery in this online interview. I just want to become a, a healing system, basically, that goes out there throughout the various different countries and is available for anybody who wants to get uh, treated. Humble has another bold claim. He says he was chosen to come here from the planet of the gods in the Andromeda galaxy. And it was on Earth during a mining expedition that he said he discovered water purification drops could cure people of malaria. And then I sent uh, my uh, solution over to um, Africa and they cured malaria, but then they were curing other things too. Humble reasoned if this diluted industrial bleach could purify water, it could purify the body. He says he spent years testing and perfecting his own chemical formula, and a miracle was born. Humble believes people everywhere should be free to choose their own medical treatment without what he sees as government meddling. So with that in mind, he created his own online church, the Genesis 2 Church of Health and Healing. But this church has nothing to do with religion. It's really just a club of true believers. For 35 bucks, you get a membership card. And with that, Humble says you can claim religious exemption from vaccines and x-rays. He also says this will allow people around the world to freely use his miracle mineral solution and use it they do. It was amazing, really. We were just amazed. The school was amazed. They said, it must have something to do with that mineral water. There are chapters all across the world and testimonials of true believers all across the internet. Uh, within three months, she was completely clear. There was no trace of cancer. Three years of an allergy gone. And so, uh... Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. yeah. I'm off my blood pressure meds, my diabetes is almost eliminated. The church holds seminars just about anywhere they can, and people from all over flock to hear how to mix MMS and use it to medicate the ill. Royce Hamer made a pilgrimage from Ontario to a seminar in the Dominican Republic back in 2008. That's where he met Jim Humble. Church members took MMS to local villages, setting up makeshift clinics. So you show up in the Dominican Republic and you're offering this to people who have various illnesses yep. to come up and give it a try. Mm -hmm. And they did? Oh yeah. The, the poor people wanted it. They'd, they'd been treated before and they were happy to have it. That's there's nothing scientific about it, but if you're going in there to hurt them, they ain't going to come running to you, are they? After being trained in the church's teachings, Royce was officially named a bishop. He claims he's healed hundreds of people. Oh, everything from insomnia, stomach troubles, um, 
cancer, most of them are cancer. Really? You've helped people? Oh, oh cancer is so fragile. She had a diagnosis of stage four cancer moved into her bones, and she used it and healed. That's one, two, three. Already three drops in the corner of the glass. And now we're gonna do... Sure, there are plenty uh, of believers out there, but is there even an one. ounce of scientific proof Should that MMS can cure anything? That was MMS. Well, we thought if anyone in the medical community might be open-minded about MMS, it's Linda Balneys. She leads the Centre for Integrative Medicine at the University of Toronto. She's on the lookout for safe and effective alternative medicines and treatments. Do you believe in miracles? I do believe in miracles. I don't believe we know it all. That's why we do research. And that's why we have the Centre for Integrative Medicine, because we're open to exploring those potential miracles. Ball Neves looked for case studies into the use of sodium chloride. That's the active ingredient in MMS. Her findings were alarming. We have several case studies that have been published of people that have consumed uh, sodium chloride and have very serious side effects, including renal failure. Uh, they've had coagulation issues where they're bleeding out internally. It has life-threatening effects when it's consumed in an oral route. We also know it can be very corrosive and we see uh, tissues being destroyed. For their part, the church argues if used in its recommended doses, MMS is safe. But Health Canada disagrees. The agency tested MMS and issued public health warnings that the bleaching agent, if ingested, may cause serious health problems. Adding the Miracle Mineral Solution product is not authorized for sale as a drug in Canada. U.S. officials are trying to crack down on MMS as well. Ben Miser is an attorney with the U.S. Department of Justice. So it's no better than ingesting Clorox or any other household cleaner. Uh, it does not make you better, it makes you sicker. But the church remains defiant, determined to keep promoting this product no matter how many authorities come out against it. And there are still plenty of websites selling it. Deep in the BC interior, one entrepreneur saw a business opportunity miraculously appear before his eyes. For years, Stan Novak was selling sodium chloride to local industries. Then he started getting orders from people who wanted it for MMS. I thought it was never going to last. I thought it was ridiculous, actually. I was very skeptical. Why, uh, why were you so skeptical? Well, I mean, let's face it. I mean, something that cures cancer and diabetes and, and the cold and whitens your teeth. I mean, it does everything. And it's cheap. It, it just, it just de defies logic. It's, it's not, it doesn't, it's not common sense. Right. However, uh, I'm a businessman and uh, I got into it and started selling it. And where were you sending this stuff? Well, mostly Canada and the United States, but I don't think there's a, even to Moscow, uh, Japan, uh, all over the world, Australia, New Zealand, uh, England quite a bit, uh, Europe certainly. But Health Canada found out about Stan's MMS business, and in 2012, they told him to stop peddling the product. So he shut down that website, then simply opened another. Why did you continue to sell it? Well, as I said, I mean, I was making a little bit of money, and I was helping a lot of people. People in my house crying, saying that they've been cured. It, it has an effect on you. These people aren't making it up. It's one thing for adults to take MMS, believing it's a magical cure, but now MMS is also being given to children. Every child that's on this protocol is improving. It's just absolutely incredible. Coming up, we investigate concerns that parents are using diluted bleach to treat children with autism. I'm worried that those kids are being tortured. His name is Jim Humble, and he says he can cure you. 
I'm Archbishop Jim Humble of the Genesis II Church of Health and Healing. He invented a chemical concoction called Miracle Mineral Solution. He claims on the church website that MMS can cure everything from colds to cancer, claims it's been tried by millions around the world from the very old to the very young. We're trying to bring health to mankind. Two chemicals are mixed together to create chlorine dioxide, commonly used as an industrial bleach. Diluted with water, the believers claim MMS safely kills pathogens, cleansing the body. Health Canada says that's simply not true. Since 2010, the agency has issued seven public health warnings about MMS, repeating it is not safe for human consumption. Authorities in the U.S. went one step further, taking one high-profile MMS seller to court. Daniel Smith was selling the miracle cure online for years, despite multiple warnings from the Food and Drug Administration to stop. That prompted the Church of Health and Healing to produce this video, portraying the FDA as stormtroopers and all MMS users as the victims of persecution. This trial is also putting MMS on trial for the first time, and we want to make it the last time. In 2013, Smith was charged. Jim Humble himself joined an online campaign to raise money for Smith's defense fund. If Daniel loses, we all lose. If Daniel wins, we all win. Well, Smith lost. Last year, he was sentenced to more than four years in prison for running this warehouse operation. Ben Miser is with the U.S. Justice Department. We do believe that the conviction of Mr. Smith and his prison sentence sends an important message to others who would attempt to follow in his footsteps, that if you are engaged in that kind of conduct, you are within the criminal jurisdiction of the United States and that we will come after you. Turns out back in 2009, Daniel Smith had bought some of his MMS chemicals from Canadian supplier Stan Novak. The BC businessman insists he's stopped selling MMS, but he says the demand keeps growing. I can't see how they can stop this from going in the same direction it's been going for 10 years. Well, because they're very concerned that they think that this is toxic, that this is poison, that this is bleach, and that fundamentally people shouldn't be putting that in their bodies. Fair enough, but it's working. And the belief that MMS is working is taking hold in one particular group of parents in a disturbing way. It's not just members of the Church of Health and Healing that are using this so-called miracle solution. Here in Saskatchewan, there are concerns that MMS is leaking into the mainstream. Concerns that parents are using the bleach as a treatment for their autistic children. Saskatchewan may be sparsely populated, but the people here are closely connected, especially parents with autistic children. And many families in Saskatchewan turn to this woman. Alexis Cuthbert founded an autism support foundation recognized by the office of the Governor General. She and her husband Don believe the diluted form of bleach can treat autism. They call it CDS or chlorine dioxide solution. We asked the Cuthberts for an interview to discuss why they're promoting a treatment Health Canada calls unsafe. They declined. But in an email, they wrote, We hope that many will research and experience the safety and effectiveness of chlorine dioxide use as we have. In fact, they've used the treatment on their own son, Casey. The Cuthberts posted this video online for other parents to see firsthand the power of the healing solution. Today is nine months since we started using the CD and the CDS. Can you tell everybody how you're feeling? I'm feeling good and great and awesome and fabulous. And I'm all excited to be here. <laughs> the Cuthbert's faith is shared by other parents. In this private Facebook group with some 8,000 members, some are eager to share their stories. Dosing his kid we go, Dan. right here. Like this video we found of a dad and his young son. Show him how you do it. Oh yeah, down the hatch, baby. Right on. 
Oh, look at that face. He loves it. He loved it. At the Alternative Therapy Conference, Autism One, the true believers were easy to find. Initially, it was incredible. Within the first hours of being on CD, we noticed changes in eye contact. Uh, before we started, Brady was hitting his head about 100 times a day, and that was documented at school. I didn't count. The teachers did. Now he does not hit his head for oh, about two months, so I consider that extremely significant. Some even share their stories of giving kids enemas with the diluted bleaching agent. Uh, that to me was probably the scariest thing to get started with the enemas and, and um, but you know it's a journey and you just do it, that's the beauty, the beauty of this is it's step by step. Here in Arborfield, Saskatchewan, someone's keeping tabs on all these incredible claims. April Griffin is part of a global network of autism advocates trying to stop the use of MMS. April herself has autism, so do three of her kids. She's appalled that parents are egging on others to try the treatment on their kids. You'll have a parent saying, well, we started to give this to my kid. They're getting fevers and chills. They're vomiting. And they say double the dose. That's proof that it's working. It's, it's, it's pushing all the evil viruses and bugs out of your child's body. And, and that's, that's it working. Give them more. And How so, does that make you feel when you read about that? That is horrifying. Like the, I found the parental script descriptions absolutely horrifying. Do you think that there is a connection between desperation and MMS? Yes, and I think it, it's born of desperation. It's born of fear, and uh, they're. I believe these parents are honestly trying to cure their children. They, you know, I don't think they hate their kids, and I don't think that deep down their hearts are dark. I think they're afraid, and they're not being educated. Public health researcher Linda Balneves says using MMS on autistic kids is simply not the solution. Autism is a very tough condition. You know, there's many parents that are struggling. We don't have a lot of effective options. So I understand their desire to find something that may be effective. But there's been no research at this time to suggest that sodium chloride could be used in treating autism. April Griffin says these kids need to be protected from their own parents. She's urged the Saskatchewan government to warn parents about the dangers of MMS without any success. I'm worried that those kids are being tortured. I'm worried that uh, it's not good for them. I, I don't think it's okay to try anything just because it's autism, like because of the stigma with autism, we will accept things happening to an autistic child that would never be allowed to happen to a normal child. If somebody heard the normal kid is getting bleach enemas from their mother, social services is gonna be at their house in 20 minutes. But a kid with autism? Nothing happens. The Saskatchewan government told us due to privacy concerns, it can't discuss any cases involving children and MMS. As for the control of its use and sale, well, the provincial government passed us on to Ottawa, saying that's Health Canada's job, not theirs. So, is Health Canada having any luck stopping the sale of MMS? That's what we wanted to find out. We went to the church's website, and with one click and 40 bucks, ordered the product from sodiumchloriteforsale.com. Our package arrived a week later. And directions on how to use it came from the email address sodiumchloriteforsale at hotmail.com. So who shares that same address? Well, none other than Stan Novak, who used that email address when we contacted him for an interview. Do you recognize these? No. Okay, because what it looks like is that we got these from you. Oh. Did you sell us this? I did not. You didn't? No. So how did that? I have no idea. Clearly, if you're in the business of selling miracles, then business is good. Because there will always be a market of people desperate for cures, people desperate for a dose of hope. And while Jim Humble is happy to boast about the magical healing powers of MMS, he wouldn't give us an interview. He says he's too busy. He's on the lookout for more true believers so he can save them with his miracle cure. 
tried it out and said it wasn't much good.